the time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. This is taken at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. As we get a peek at their dynamic signal caller hailing from Mississippi State, it's Dak Prescott. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. That often runs you into a penalty. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. So that'll back him up five. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, offense. 
That's going to set him back five yards. Still first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game, offense. And yeah, that'll set them back five. Still first down. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delayed game, offense. Well, they're inching closer and closer here to the wrong goal line. When you're backed up Still like that, time. all you're trying to do is make sure you don't give up a big play, right? You don't miss an assignment that really gets you into more trouble. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game, offense. They were already backed up. Now they're backed up further. I think they were being so careful to make sure all assignments were covered that they ended up running themselves out of time. And now Prescott is going to be taken down. He couldn't get away, and that's a safety. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here, a safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's pile this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. Oh, he takes it in, doesn't let it bounce. He takes it at the two. Let's go, baby. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their 6'5 quarterback out of North Dakota State. It's Carson Wentz. He didn't have as many throws or plays in college as many of the quarterbacks that were coming out in the draft, but he maximized what he had. Ended up winning two national championships as a starting quarterback at North Dakota State. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. From the 
25 on second down. Wentz. And here are the starters for Philadelphia. And last night, we were discussing some of the changes they've made offensively during the offseason. And we know it helps for them to have the first game at home. Hopefully this crowd, which we saw coming in, they've been here for a while, ready to go. You and I should have joined the tailgates, that's for sure. They're going to give them plenty of encouragement. They'll try and ride that wave and get their first victory of the year. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on to punt. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And a safety the last go around. That's how we arrive at this 2-0 score. We'll see if they can respond. Such an oddity, isn't it? See those two points go up on the board. <laughs> Looks like soccer. You, exactly. And know that you did it to give those points up for your team. And oh, he caught it up. And the Eagles have recovered. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play the best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves Jeff that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. It's a second down run with Sanders. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Throwing his wins. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll run with a former Badger. It's Corey Clement. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. And his throw is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. To throw, it's Wentz. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available. See this one often, 5-0. Yeah, it's been sort of a weird one to this point, hasn't it? But hey, in this league, you take... And now Dallas gets set to take the field. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down. By Elliott doesn't amount to much as he'll get forward for about a couple. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The offensive starters now for the Cowboys. Obviously a tough test for this offense right out of the gate. Road game in game one of the new year. Conventional wisdom says... Go slow, take care of the football. I think in this case... And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. 
something to watch here in week one of the season? Tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. And the defense now for the Eagles. Fletcher Cox is a first-round pick who has fulfilled his promise. One of the best defensive linemen in the NFL. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Throwing again on second down. Prescott sliding out of the pocket. He's going to take off with it. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 36. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. On the counter, Elliott. And an alley to run. And they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. Let's go. Let's do this. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses, those exact type of runs. The first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. First and 10 right at the 20. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. Jatavis Brown there on the tackle. Throwing on second down. Prescott got a man. It's Brown. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Zerline's kick is up and through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 23. A quick throw there out to Jeffrey. And he got blown up on that play back at the 20. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That catch now puts him on the doorstep of 500. It's his 499th reception. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Shotgun now for Wentz. And complete to Zach Ertz. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. From the gun on third down, Wentz. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. From the 41, Wentz. It's brought in by Jeffrey. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They go play action here on first down. And he has now hit number 500. Charles, that is his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays, in today's football, 500 puts you on the path. A significant number. Wentz now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. They go back to the ground with Sanders. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Wentz now to throw. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. And a sack by one of the most consistent D linemen in the game, Gerald McCoy. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. The Eagles on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 15. Wentz. He wants it all for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Well, he bounced up after taking a sack and took a shot downfield. I think a lot of us thought maybe he'd run draw in that situation. Instead, tried to get all back in one play. Yeah, third and long, thought he needed the deep pass, couldn't connect it. Maybe he was hoping for a penalty downfield to give him the yardage they needed. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in down. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points-per-drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. Now Elliott. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. On third down, it's Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? 
the better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. Well, Prescott stripped. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Well, that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Here's Prescott. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 16. Prescott now. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Here comes the pressure, and the Eagles get there to block it. It's picked up. Remember, the ball is live. Pass the 20. And he score. Touchdown, Eagles. As his guys are in for six. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put... Elliott good with a PAT, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Well, not only did they block it, the awareness to go and grab it and then take it into the end zone for six points. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Looking to throw. Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Malik Jackson, the 6'5 D tackle with a sack. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's.